Well, Nene has been making these claims um, about racism and discrimination and mistreatment against blacks, black housewives for months now. And now she's decided to lawyer up and sue. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to another episode with your host, Tabitha. Here is where we have some straightforward discussions on political and social news, television show recaps, and of course, everyone's favorite, celebrity gossip. These discussions are to simply chat about what's happening in the world around us. The intent is not to be mean or malicious, but to remain informed on the more serious topics and to just have a little fun discussing the craziness that surround our favorite celebrities. So grab yourself a drink and a snack. Sit back and relax and enjoy the conversation. Hey, my beautiful souls, welcome back to another episode. I am your host, your girl, Tabitha. And like I said, for months, Nene has been throwing out these coded messages, all stemming from her accusations of racism from Andy Cohen and the producers of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And now it is being dropped that Nene Leakes is suing Andy Cohen, NBC Universal, Bravo, True Entertainment, Truly Original, and their executives. And she's claiming that Kim Zosiak's racism was accepted on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Girl, Nene. Before we get into it. Let me welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you've come across this video and are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you. We talk celebrity gossip. We talk um, some of my favorite reality TV shows right now. We're recapping and reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville. New episodes for that show drop on Saturday nights. And my video, my recapping review will be up on Saturday, on Sunday mornings. And sometimes we'll go live on Sunday evenings. Please, everybody, do me that solid. Click that thumbs up button. It helps to push my videos out in the um, YouTube's algorithm. Child, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what else there is to say about NeNe Leaks and these claims of discrimination and racism. And child, she is she is going all the way back to when Kim was on the show. But hey, you know what, Nene? If you can prove your claims, get your money, honey. Let's get it. I got this article from Love B. Scott. Let's get into what Love B. Scott is reporting. Nene Leakes has filed a lawsuit against Bravo, Andy Cohen, um, production companies, True Entertainment, and Truly Original executives from said companies. In the lawsuit, Nene is alleging that they fostered and tolerated a hostile and racist work environment and ignored complaints about years of racist remarks from fellow housewife Kim Zosiak Beerman. Kim is not named in the lawsuit. But didn't we didn't we see not too long ago Kim and Nene kind of like come together? Um, it was after Greg passed away. We saw the two of them come together, um, embrace and hug and they had a moment, right? So you're suing all of these other people because 
Kim's racism was tolerated. But you don't have a problem with Kim and her racism. Because I don't know about y'all. I'm not if I consider someone racist, I'm not going to be hugging them and embracing them and and no, I'm not doing any of that. This is so strange to me. But moving on. Via the Associated Press, quote, NBC, Bravo, True Foster and Corporate and Workplace Culture in which racially insensitive and inappropriate behavior is tolerated, if not encouraged, the suit says. Emails sent to representatives of the defendants and Zosiak Beerman seeking comment were not immediately returned. Leaks, 54, a TV personality and actor whose legal name is Lanethia Monique Leaks, spent seven seasons as one of the central stars of The Real Housewives of Atlanta between 2008 and 2020. It alleges that during the first season, which aired in 2008, the cast was planning to attend a barbecue and housewife Kim Zosiak Beerman responded to the idea with words to the effect of, I don't want to sit around with Nene and eat chicken. I remember that. Mm-hmm. I remember that. And is it, uh, is it racism? Yeah, it was. Um, but how many years did Nene work with Kim after that, and with Bravo after that. It's only until she didn't get what she wanted during the last go-round when when Bravo and Andy Cohen no longer wanted to deal with NeNe Leakes that this has become a problem. She's reaching back all the way to 2008, y'all. Moving on. The suit says the statement perpetuated an offensive stereotype about African-Americans. The suit says in 2012, during the fifth season, Zosiak Beerman made racially offensive and stereotypical comments about the new home of housewife Candy Burris, calling her neighborhood a ghetto and perpetuating a racial stereotype in an offensive comment about whether Burris needed a swimming pool. That same year, the suit says Zosiak Beerman used the N-word to refer to leaks and, and other of the housewives after a dispute with them. The suit alleges it also alleges Zosiak Beerman falsely implied that Leeks used drugs and called her home a roach nest. We remember all of these incidents. We do. The suit says after Leeks' complaints to the executives overseeing the show, they did not terminate their relationship with Zosiak Beerman, nor take any other meaningful action to put an end to her racially offensive behavior, and if anything, rewarded her by giving her her own spinoff show, which they did. From the day the series began filming, Nene was the target of systemic racism from co-star Kim Zosiak Beerman, which was tolerated by Bravo executive producer Andy Cohen and other executives. Leaks lawyer David Derubitis said in a statement, Joe Hibachi, another Leaks attorney, said via email that not a day goes by that Nene doesn't wake up with an onslaught of overwhelming emotions as a direct result of these unfortunate and avoidable occurrences. Baby. (sighs) Article goes on to say, the lawsuit alleges that her complaints of racism led in part to leaks being forced off the show in 2020 before its 13th season. So Kim has been long gone off the show. 
But in 2020, she's still complaining about this racism and was forced off the show. That just, I'm, I'm sorry, that, okay. The suit says leaks negotiations for the season came as the Black Lives Matter movement was gaining major momentum with leaks as a vocal supporter. Executives sought to sideline leaks from talking about the cause. Wait a minute. Executives were trying to sideline Nene leaks from talking about Black Lives Matter when Portia, <laughs> Portia was out there in marches screaming Black Lives Matter, becoming an activist, and it was all part of her storyline. And in that season where she was fighting for justice for Breonna Taylor, a major part of the season was talking about the movement. But Nene says she was sidelined from speaking on Black Lives Matter. Executives sought to sideline leaks from talking about the cause, keeping her off early episodes in which the housewives would address Black Lives Matter, the suit alleges. Quote, as the Black Lives Matter movement swept our nation, Mrs. Leaks, Bravo's historically most successful black female talent, should have been embraced by NBC, Bravo, and True, the suit says. Instead, NBC, Bravo, and True forced her out of the house she built, denying her a regular role. The suit alleges that the defendant's actions violate federal employment and anti-discrimination law and is seeking monetary damages to be determined at trial. Y'all, she's suing them, citing racism from Kim Zosiak, but she's not, she's not suing Kim, who was the one hurling these racist stereotypes. She's suing all of the people involved, the execs, Andy Cohen, for saying that they allowed Kim to say these racist things. Kim's removed from the show. She's given her own show. Nene moves on with being a housewife on the show. No problems. And then in 2020, when it's time to renegotiate her contract, she didn't get what she wanted. Therefore, she walked away. Most of us believe that Andy Cohen and executive producers were tired of NeNe Leakes and the person that she had become to be. And so now she's suing them for racism. But she's not suing Kim Zosiak. And we've seen NeNe and Kim since that time. And she's embraced Kim. You're going to sue Bravo for Kim saying racist things, but you're not suing Kim for being a racist. I I don't get it. I don't get it. But we're going to watch this. Mm -hmm. And then she's accusing Bravo of of not allowing her to talk about Black Lives Matter when we watch Portia have a whole freaking season and storyline around Black Lives Matter. All of the ladies were having deep conversations about Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, the movement, but she was silenced. Girl, y'all enlighten me on what I'm missing down in the comment section. That's where we'll continue the conversation. I'll see y'all in the next one. 
Thank you for tuning in to the conversation. Make sure you subscribe and rate the episode. And to stay connected with Tabitha, head on over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Tabitha. And you can also follow on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links will be available in the more info box. Until next time, be good to yourselves and each other. And each other.